Hey yo, what's up everyone? I just wanted to go through an example in C Sharp on how to do some polymorphism. So this is easily seen when we have a base class, such as user.cs, and then a derived class, such as student. But we're also going to create another class, which is going to be teachers. Monday.com is your visual project management solution. This is the tool that allows you to see where every task or project stands with a single glance. With a fully customizable interface, you can create the exact workflow that you need for you and your team to get stuff done. Monday.com is available on mobile and integrates well with some of the most popular tools out there. So get your life in order by giving it a try for free. Link in the description. So right clicking our program, we're going to say add a new file class and we're just gonna call this teacher. This will also inherit from user and we'll need to implement hello.toconsole. And we're going to make this say, I'm a teacher. My name is plus full name. All right, take a look at the student. We have a similar one. It says, hi, I'm a student. My name is, and then it says full name dot two upper just for fun, I guess. <laughs> now inside of our program, here's what we're going to do. We're going to create a student give them a first name jingle and then we'll also create a teacher and let's say you're the teacher this time and we'll say new teacher give you a first name there we go we got a student and we got a teacher but these are both considered users so what we can do is we can actually make a list of type user create a new list oh forgot to name it There we go. And then in the initialization, we can just pass in me and you. And notice we're not gonna get any compiling errors. This is valid. That's because both me and you are considered users. But what we can do now is we can iterate through these using a for each. I'm gonna say user you in users. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna invoke that method. We'll say you dot hello to console. Running this, let's see what we get. You can see the first one that says, hi, I'm a student, and the next one says, I'm a teacher. So you can see we treated them both as users, but they did the appropriate thing when we invoked hello to console. Now, if we were in the situation where the user, the method was not abstract, let's just say it was virtual, it might have a body in here. And what we'll do in this situation is we'll just do a very general one. We'll say, hi, I'm, and put full name. So now we're gonna create a user which and even to do that, we have to get rid of this abstract keyword, but I just wanna show you guys this, so follow along for a minute. We'll get rid of that abstract keyword and create a user directly. So just a general user, nothing special. We will also add that to the list. And this for each should still work because hello2console does exist on this user object. So let's run it and see what we get. You can see the last one says, hi, I'm general user. So if it's a situation where we're just working with a base class, it should use the method that's defined inside of it right here. So in conclusion, we can treat all of these types as users and they will do the appropriate thing. So thank you guys for watching. Now we're going to be talking about constructors. So go check that out.